Hallelujah. 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 Praise God, church. Praise God, church. Today, as we fast, we're in the fasting week. As we fast today, the preaching for today is breaking the chains. Where we're finding, where we are finding freedom through fasting. In this week, as we are breaking chains, we are finding freedom through fasting. As you fast, child of God, in this week, let us break those chains and find freedom through fasting. Amen. Praise God, church family of faith. I welcome beloved believers to Christian Healing Church Ministry. The new and the old, you're all welcome. My name is Apostle Jude Noah Wakiri, and I am delighted to be here with you today to share a message about fasting in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Amen. Hallelujah. Fasting is a subject. Fasting is a subject that is often misunderstood or neglected in our Christian walk. Amen. However, in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6, according to the Amplified Bible, we find a powerful description of what fasting should look like. Amen. The passage in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6, says that, that is this not the fast which I choose to undo the bonds of wickedness, to tear to pieces the ropes of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and break apart every enslaving yoke. Amen. As you're fasting, child of God, in this week, make sure you undo bonds that have been of wickedness in your life. Make sure you tear to pieces the ropes that are yoking your life. Make sure you let go, let go of your life, those oppressed. Let go, let go, let them go free. The ones that you're oppressing, free them, amen? And break apart every enslaving yoke. So as we pray, as we fast, as we walk through this walk of faith, let us break apart every enslaving yoke. Let us do away every one that we are pressing. Let them go free. Let us tear to pieces those ropes of the yokes that are holding on to you. Let them be broken in Jesus' name, mighty name. Amen. So what does this mean for us as believers? Amen. What does this mean for us as believers? It means that fasting is not just about abstaining from food or drink. Fasting is about breaking the f- is, is, fasting is about breaking free from the bondage of sin, allowing God to heal your hearts and minds, and releasing your souls from the yokes that are binding you. Amen. Say, Lord, I release myself from the yokes that are binding me in your name. Amen. Hallelujah. There are many situations, there are many seasons in which you might find yourselves in need of this kind of fasting. Hallelujah. Perhaps you are struggling with addiction or some kind of temptation or something is bothering you within your family or in the family in which you are married. Amen. It could be your job. It could be a family in your job. It could be a family in the church. It could be the, 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 it could be that neighbor in your village. It could be that workmate. It could be anyone. 
whatever the situation, you need to find yourself in that need when you're fasting so that you break those yokes and those ropes. Amen. Perhaps you are struggling in every such kind of situation that I've talked about. Maybe you are facing a difficult decision and need clarity from the Lord God and guidance from God. Amen. So you might be feeling spiritually dry and in need of a fresh, fresh touch from the Holy Spirit. If you are that kind of person that feels within you that you need a fresh touch from the Holy Spirit, I call on you to say amen to the Lord God. For you need to put yourself in a position where you dress up yourself with the blood of Jesus and reject the devil. Amen. You have to say, Lord Jesus, by your blood, I be filled full to overflow, that I reject every bondage, that I reject every yokes of bondage, that I break free from every slavery and every enslaving yokes. In your mighty name, O oh Jesus. Amen. So whatever your circumstances, you can turn to fasting as a powerful tool for spiritual breakthrough, child of God. By denying yourself physical nourishment, you can open yourselves up to receive the spiritual nourishment that only and only God can provide. Amen. So this you're going to do through fasting. Not fasting because the pastor said. Not fasting because I have said. Amen. You have to intend it. You have to mean it so that you fast when you intend it. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, child of God, fasting is not just about what you can get from God. Many of you, many of us fast because we feel there is something we can get from God. No, child of God, it is beyond what you can get from God. Amen. Fasting also is also about what you can give to God. What can you give to God as much as you can get from God? Hallelujah. I, I believe many of you have not been thinking about that, that when you're fasting, you also have to give to God as much as you're getting from Him. Amen. So as well as you fast, you can intercede for others. You can lift up their needs before God and stand in the gap for them. Hallelujah. So you can also use this time of fasting and energy you would normally spend on food to serve others, to reach out to those in need and to share the love of Christ Jesus with them so that they understand the salvation that you are tapping. Hallelujah. So today, child of God, I encourage you to consider the power of fasting in your life, in your own life, as well as others' life. Amen. So whether you are facing a specific challenge or simply seeking a deeper relationship with God, fasting like that we are handling in this week can be a powerful weapon can be a powerful weapon like you're seeing in ephesians chapter 6 verse verse 10 to 19 it can be a powerful weapon it can be a powerful armor to help you break free break free from the bonds of sin and receive the spiritual nourishment that you so much need so that you're able to serve not only God, but to use the grace that you receive from God to also serve others. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, this is basically the message I wanted to share with you so that you receive it and you be overflowed with it. Amen. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of fasting, for the way it can break the chains of sin in my life and oppression in our lives. I ask that you would give me the strength 
and the wisdom to fast in a way that is pleasing to you, Lord, that I might receive the fullness of your blessings and share them with not only you but others, Lord Father. Help me, Lord, to be obedient to your call to fast and to serve and to always give thanks for your provision, Lord God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Lord, I pray and I'll always pray forevermore. Amen. So, beloved child of God, I believe this message and this prayer has built you as a church and healed you. So, beloved child of God, I encourage you not to forget to tithe, not to forget to sow your seeds, or give thanks to God for all God has done for all his goodness and the blessings that have been released through this message. So may the Lord God bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and your life and your situation. And may he be gracious to you always and everyone that you want his hand to stretch out to. May he lift up his continence, his continence upon you and give you the peace you so much need. Amen and amen and amen. I thank you, Lord, for the message. And I bless your name and I lift up your name in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you to all you that have listened to this message. May this word of salvation reach deep into your soul and clean out that that has been holding on to you in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed and I have shared God, the godly message that you needed to receive. Amen and amen.